Okay guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Avalanche Multimedia and today we have a graphics card by MSI Aero ITX GeForce GT1030 by NVIDIA It has game really drivers, NVIDIA Pascal and GeForce Experience and the OC Edition Now, many of you are probably thinking, well this is an old card that's correct, but it's a new card to me because I inherited a HP Pavilion 500 PC series off of eBay, which came with a GT705 built-in graphics card. But that graphics card, unfortunately, has been... as this PC was bought second-hand, so this PC has been pretty well used. So the graphics card... I found when I'm streaming can handle lower powered games. But it's got the lower graphics, but the higher gra graphics like Sea of Thieves, uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic, and higher games than that, he has trouble shading the, the details in on certain items. So we had to purchase a new card, and we found this card on Amazon. This is the cheapest card I could find. If it was £98. Well, £97.31, but ran it off to £98. So, that being said, temperature, we turn it over and we zoom in. You guys can see the details at the back. But it has the MSI Afterburner in the industry standard feature rich graphics card. Utility that provides a wealth of features. MSI Predator Video Capturing is an integrated with Afterburner to allow you to recap your greatest gaming moments while MSI Combustor helps you check your system. Stability. This is all built on MSI's Afterburner amazing overclocking software, which you can now take with you on the road with MSI's Afterburner app. For all iOS, this is Apple, if anyone doesn't have an Apple phone, and Android, which is, everyone knows, is Google. But it also has, I'll go in a bit closer, without my finger coming over the camera, which it seems to be doing, come on. No, I can't. That's about as close as I can get. You've got support direct 12 effects, tests, advanced fan speed control, support multi GPU mode, support time of video capturing, real time video capturing, and Windows controlled by Android and iOS handheld version. You also have a PCI Express. Um, the GPU is GeForce GT 1030. Memory size 2 gigabyte DDR4. Memory bus 64 bit. Output HDMI SL DVI-D. If I also go down here, you can also see the features, which is. NVIDIA Pascal, NVIDIA GameWorks, GeForce Experience Game Ready Drivers, NVIDIA GPU Boost 3.0, Microsoft DirectX 12, Vulkan API, OpenGL 4.5 support, Display Connection, HDMI 2.0 B, SL DVI D, and HCP, HDCP 2.2. Remember the system requirements. Uh, PCI Express compliant motherboard with dual width times 16 graphics slot. Minimum 3 of the watts or greater to higher system supply. 3 meg 50 megabytes of available hard disk space. 2 gigabytes of system memory or 4 gigabytes megabytes and higher. Microsoft Windows 10, Windows 8 or Windows 7, 32 or 64 bit and an internet connection. Um, it has a solid cap of 10 years, ultra long life, extreme low ASR, lower temperature, higher efficiency. 
If you are gaming, then it will last 12 years. If you are using it as just an office, it will last 40 years. So in a moment, I will empty the box, and you can see the actual graphics card itself, and what else comes in the box with it. So first off, you have a thank you for choosing uh, MSI product. This product was made with great passion, and we hope you could enjoy it. Please register your MSI product at http com. With the product registration, you can you serve faster and participate in the discussions on forum and blog, especially with award activities. And there's nothing on the back. That is all we have. Okay. And next up, you have the MSI Quick Users Graphics Card with all the QR codes for different introductions. If you want to do watch the um, demonstrations, mm -hmm. you also have the installation guide for AMB and the installation guide for NVIDIA. Because this graphics card, uh, the chip inside the actual NVIDIA graphics card is an AMB Fire Pro, if anyone doesn't know. And if we turn it over. It will then show you the package contents of the, it's got this guide, the graphics guide itself, and it will show you the system requirements, and it will show you auxiliary tools, and also hardware installation on the next page, which I will show you in a moment. So here we are, hardware installation step one, take off the PC's panel, take off the PCI slot at the back, to insert the graphics card and clip it in. Three, then screw the card into place and then insert the power cables into the graphics card for power. And number four, screw it all back together and connect it to my monitor. And then you've got your procedures warranty and then you've got all the explanations in different languages for different countries yeah if we turn it over we've got exactly the same size you've got English Dutch Francais um, you know so on Polsky Portuguese, Espana, Turkey. Yeah. So there, now we've got the actual graphics card out of its packet. This is the actual 1030 graphics card by MSI. So, we turn it over. See all the chips and the, where it's, the actual mounting of the cooling mount is. And uh, turn it over the right way around. You've got the DVI slot on the side there, and the 2.0 HDMI on the corner with the caps in to protect from dust getting into the ports. Yeah, and that's the side view of the card. You've also got to cover over the um, pins as well, as you can see, protecting the pins from getting damaged. But that's the actual view of the fan. I'll make it spin with my finger so you can see what it like when it goes around. There you get the idea. But that is the MSI 
Graphics Aero ITX graphics card as TT1030. So I'll provide the link in the description. It may not be the same price that I pay for. But I'll provide the, the link in the description for those that are new to getting a PC and new to building PCs and new to getting graphics cards. It's a really good card. I haven't tested it yet, but I've, I have seen it in practice. It's a really good card. Um, if you can't afford the higher cards of the 20 series, 30 series and the new 40 series, then I would recommend try and grab these while you can. Because the graphics cards from what I've seen in the new series are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The 4090 RTX it looks the size of a PS5 and you're going to need a bigger case if you want that because it takes up three slots of the PCI Express at the back. So thank you for watching the unboxing guys on Analyze Multimedia and I'll see you all in the next Analyze Multimedia unboxing video. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.